If you ever suffer through a disgusting meal or a subpar hotel stay, sometimes all you want to do is vent. Of course, Yelp has put some power back in the hands of those unhappy customers. The woman you're about to meet says the damage from a dental procedure she had was lasting, but the negative review led to unexpected backlash because business owners now are fighting back. Elise Gobert's face is her fortune. She's a model and always on camera. How do you feel? But beneath the surface, she struggled with chronic pain. I've been a long, long sufferer of, of neck pain my entire life. So a couple years ago, she went with her then-husband, Jeff Cullen, to see the dentist, Dr. Parsa Zadeh. She was thrilled when he told her he could fix her problem. I actually accompanied him to this uh, first meeting. When I was there, I was very impressed. She says he told her he'd make her teeth two millimeters bigger with veneers, and that would realign her jaw, stopping the neck pain. So I said, wow, you really think think that, that it's going to fix itself? And he's like, he's like, absolutely. But according to her... I pretty much did the like biggest mistake of my life. Far more than she bargained for. She says Dr. Zadeh left her with what she considers man teeth. The whole look in, in general of my teeth were awful. I told them that I had bigger teeth than everybody. It's not normal. Gobert's then-husband Jeff shot this home video, which he claims he took immediately after surgery. Big teeth, wow. They were like... Chick chicklets, like rabbit teeth. I couldn't even close my mouth. She was so unhappy with the results that nearly two years later, Jeff did what millions of Americans do these days. He took to Yelp, writing a scathing 357-word Yelp review, calling Zadeh a butcher and a crook. Hello. Her new front teeth, he wrote, look like Mr. Ed. But the dentist didn't take their bad Yelp review lightly. He sued them this past April, claiming the couple's review damaged his reputation, and that it was another dentist, not him, who removed, destroyed, or neutralized his work. You're allowed to say, I think this dentist is the worst dentist in the world. That's your opinion. But once you start stating facts, then you could be held accountable if it's demonstrated that those facts aren't true. Yelp says their reviewers are just exercising their constitutional rights. Yelpers who write reviews on our site uh, enjoy uh, the right to free speech, uh, and they exercise that to share their experiences with their fellow consumers and help them select businesses. But Dr. Zadeh's lawyer released a statement to ABC News saying there's not freedom of speech to lie and tell falsehoods and try and destroy someone's career. Dr. Zadeh isn't alone in fighting back. More and more businesses are taking matters into their own hands. When wedding guest Robbie Zanin panned the Union Street guest house in Hudson, New York, on Yelp. There was a musty odor. Uh, it smelled bad. We kept the windows open for the entire time we were there. The hotel didn't take it lying down. We received an email that there will be a $500 uh, fine for each negative review that we post or any guest posts online. The bride and groom apparently overlooked this fine print on their contract. A $500 fine will be deducted from your deposit for every negative review placed on any internet site by anyone in your party. The story went viral and a collective consumer fury ensued. And just like that, the inn's multi-star rating on Yelp plummeted to a dismal one and a half stars. The hotel was hit with a barrage of users posting angry and clearly outlandish reviews about the business, one person calling it the worst hotel in history. The hoteliers quickly retreated, expressing embarrassment and regret in a statement, saying its response to negative reviews was intended as a joke, but now realizing it was in poor taste and not at all funny. I don't think they're going to eat there anymore. Over the last few years, the Yelp review has taken on a life of its own, immortalized in these videos with popular actors reading Yelp reviews. Such a disappointment, considering I've wanted to come here for a long time. But all jokes aside, 
Yelp has become a make or break for businesses nationwide. One bad review can really like destroy your business. You can lose thousands of dollars. In fact, more than 50 million businesses around the globe occupy a presence on Yelp. A Harvard Business School study finding a one-star rating increase on Yelp translates to a sales increase between 5 and 9 percent. But watch out. That Yelp review trashing a business could cost you. Some businesses aren't just threatening fines. These lawsuits are a form of bullying. It's a tactic to si uh, silence your critics. But for business owners, the financial impact of a bad Yelp review is all too real. And they say they have to take action if something is untrue. James Dimitriotti scours reviews of his hotel, the landing resort and spa in Lake Tahoe. But he took issue with one comment that he says went too far. In one case, we had an individual who made extremely derogatory remarks about the manager, about the restaurant, about the food, about myself individually. And we decided to file suit against this person for defamation. Court records show the case was settled out of court. For Yelp users, angry businesses aren't the only thing to be aware of. Some reviews we've grown to count on aren't even real. I will write a positive review of your product, website, blog, or anything else of the like. Cassie, an 18-year-old from Wisconsin, says she used to write phony positive reviews, hundreds of them, for four bucks a piece. I feel like these people are going to pay somebody to write a review anyway, so it might as well just be me. She read us one of her fake reviews, vouching for a bathroom contractor. I made the appointment over the phone, and the next day they were working on my bathroom. Yelp admits fake reviews are a real problem. So we know that many businesses will try to write reviews from their own computer. Uh, they'll do all kinds of things, uh, and we have to protect consumers so they can find our service useful. But despite that, Yelp believes they can still give consumers the best, unvarnished information. The reason consumers, 138 million of them, come to our site each month is because they trust the content. Uh, and the reason they trust the content is because we take steps to protect them from being misled from reviews that are either purchased by businesses or might be biased because they were solicited from a business owner's friends or families. For Elise Gobert and her ex-husband Jeff Cullen, they say Yelp was the only way to warn people about what happened. There was nothing other than, folks, this is our experience, watch out. I'm here today because of this free freedom of speech, you know, if he wins, it means that none of us could go on social media even and write our truthful uh, opinion. Gobert and her ex-husband have so far missed a deadline to respond to the lawsuit, a legal headache that for now could still have some teeth. If you ever suffer through a disgusting meal or a subpar hotel stay, sometimes all you want to do is vent. Of course, Yelp has put some power back in the hands of those unhappy customers. The woman you're about to meet says the damage from a dental procedure she had was lasting, but the negative review led to unexpected backlash because business owners now are fighting back. Elise Gobert's face is her fortune. She's a model and always on camera. How do you feel? But beneath the surface, she struggled with chronic pain. I've been a long, long sufferer of, of neck pain my entire life. So a couple years ago, she went with her then-husband, Jeff Cullen, to see the dentist, Dr. Parsa Zadeh. She was thrilled when he told her he could fix her problem. I actually accompanied him to this uh, first meeting. When I was there, I was very impressed. She says he told her he'd make her teeth two millimeters bigger with veneers, and that would realign her jaw, stopping the neck pain. So I said, wow, you really think think that, that it's going to fix itself? And he's like, he's like, absolutely. But according to her... I pretty much...